you're a big time social media influencer now. You, uh, you're a creator. You're a social social entrepreneur. But uh, what what do you think of that title? What do you think of the the title? Influencer. Yeah. Bro, you can't claim to be no damn influencer, dog. Like, bro, you can't claim to be no influencer. Like, bro, like, influencer is like a state of being. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you know, the way that it's intended, like, you know, before all of this social media shit, when, you know, you had to actually earn press, right? Like, when you had to earn the right to be on the news and earn the right to be in the newspaper, like, you had to go do shit. Like you gotta go accomplish it. Like, yo, he just so he just had an eight figure exit from a business. Like, this dude is smart as shit. What else can he tell us? He's gonna influence my decisions. You know what I mean? Or this person was just, you know, featured in Vogue magazine or whatever, a top designer. They just did some like, you know what I mean? Whatever. This dude won a tour de France. Like, this dude did this. Like, these people are influencing my decisions. Where the fuck did we cut out the accomplishment part and then just go straight to like influence? You know what I'm saying? I, I do and know what you're saying. Bro, so I just, I think that it's hilarious, dog. Like, I think that it's hilarious. And so like, you know, I'm like, yeah, bro, like <laughs> we all influencers, right? We all influence somebody. You know, everybody just, <laughs> we can all just put that in our bios at this point. Because if, if, if all the people that claim it can have it, bro, anybody can have it. You know what I mean? Shit, I influenced my cat. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I influenced my little cousin. You know, like whatever the hell, you know? So I think that it's, it is funny to me. I think that it is very funny to me. Uh, I, but I do appreciate everything that, that's coming along with it. And I do take serious the opportunities of true influencers, um, like true influencers. And like, that. but I think that the people that are truly influential, like they don't claim that. You know what I mean? Like, and it's and, just, you know, and they're yeah. doing other stuff. So are you saying like, in what ways are you not? Cause I think everybody that will, you know, go to your Instagram account, they're going to say, okay, social media influencer. Uh, what right. ways, in what ways are you not a social media influencer of the things you're doing for golf? Um, I think that, I think that I am being influential, you know what I mean? And, uh, and like, if I was, ki- you know, because I'm, I'm really trying to like push forth a narrative, right. Of the, you can show up to the game as you are. And as long as you respect the game, it's, it's, it's for you. And I don't think that golf has like embraced anybody quite like me before. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, it's a lot of like, I talk to a dude named Kelly James a lot. Like he, uh, he do all the stuff at the PGA tour. Like he do like the rap stuff and, and all this stuff. But Kelly James is a smart dude though. You know what I mean? Like he's just a very like intellectual, like cerebral, great storyteller. And stuff like that. And he was like, bro, golf is like, it's like the, the gatekeepers are trying to keep golf like very, very safe. And, you know, they're not going to really let anything into the game that threatens the safety of the game. Right. <clears throat> and for those reasons, you haven't seen too many people at a high level that really represent uh, what diversifying the game could look like. You know what I mean? And I think that I'm, I'm potentially the edgiest but safest uh, approach to that at the time being, right? Like I'm a decent golfer, like, you know, I'm educated, you know what I mean? But I'm from this place that a lot of people won't, wouldn't want to go. You know what I mean? I live in this place and a lot of people wouldn't want to visit. And, uh, and I think that it's like an interesting enough case study where it's like, okay, you know, we'll allow you access to the game because we think that you're going to be a good advocate for like growth in this capacity. And that's what I want to articulate as well is like, <clears throat> like the video, my first video that kind of went like mini viral or whatever, when I was telling people like uh, to play golf responsibly, it's like, I want you to come play the game, but I also want you to respect the game. It's like, I don't want you fucking this up for me. You know what I mean? Cause I, you know, I, I, I put a lot of time in and made, met a lot of people and shook a lot of hands to, to get these opportunities. So like, if you're going to come into it, this is a great opportunity. It's a lot of things that you could do with this game, but, like, don't mess it up, though. You know what I mean? Don't be don't be out here being disrespectful. You know what I mean? So, in, in those ways, I think that I am, like, influential. But I'm going to be the first to tell you, like, dog, I haven't done shit. Started a couple businesses. Like, you know what I mean? Struggling, trying to navigate through those. And, like, bro, what, what you know, um, maybe, you know, being a scratch golfer, 
Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, bro. It doesn't I hurt. I struggle with it. I struggle with it, bro. I struggle with it. Scratch golf, it doesn't hurt. And that message, Roger, that's something that uh, I, I believe viscerally deep down. And, and it's something that's built into what we're doing at New Club, too, is that you just got to you got to let people know that, yeah, you're you're invited to be a part of this and it's and it's actionable. Right. Show up, play, um, enjoy it. But that's help those new people uh, understand the game, the, the, the little <laughs> nuances, just like anything. Right. If you're learning to fly a plane, you're not going to know all the language either. Right. There's jargon. Right. There's etiquette. Right. There's ways that you got to do stuff. I, that's right. what I see. I see you bringing people into that man and, and be, doing it authentically and not pandering right. to folks. Right. Right. And that's, that's something that I like definitely want to commit to because, you know, getting to this, <clears throat> to this space has been interesting because <clears throat> like for a long time when I was getting into golf, I thought that I had to like pander to people to get opportunities. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, like you were just always trying to like figure out how could I fit in? Like, how can I fit in? You know, how can I like not lose this opportunity to go to this place and see this thing? And it, it was like, it was sad a lot of times, bro. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the elements of yourself that you would try to like compromise or quiet just so you could like not lose this opportunity. And just to like sometimes go home and be like, yo, did I even like, I didn't even fit in there. Like, you know what I mean? Like. So I just think that the, the, the way that I'm doing it is like whatever I can get from being myself, like that's what's for me. If that means that I can only play the nine hole course that's down the street from me and that's the only place that would truly have me and truly make a home for me, then that's my home. And that's where we can all go. You know what I mean? But if other places are saying like we want you to come here, then it's like, well, let's show me. And then let's and let and now this can be our home. You know what I mean? And I will help you enforce the rules. You know what I mean? Like whatever rules we set, whatever rules we all agree on, like I'll be the first one to help you enforce them. But I, I just don't want golf to feel like, I don't want anybody that's coming into the game feeling like you got to switch up anything about yourself to, to, to play the game. You could be a hundred percent yourself and, and, but just like, let's be within the confines of like what, what the game should look like. And this could be a great place for all of us. You know what I mean?